quite a few biographies have been written about this man. He's been the main character of films too. Nikolai Nikolaevich Mikluka Maklai, a famous Russian traveler, an outstanding scientist, a writer whose works have become classics of world anthropological and ethnographic literature. Yet there was more. He was also a great humanist and public figure who fought for the equality of all people on Earth. Maklai and Mitokia and good man. Miklucha Maklai was one of the first to advance the theory of racial equality. He traveled to the distant northeastern coast of New Guinea, where no white man had ever set foot. He was driven by a noble goal to prove that Papuans were not an intermediary link in human evolution like many thought 150 years ago but the same Homo sapiens as Europeans. What a courageous man he must have been. And in the name of what did he do that? As he used to say in the name of science and humanity. For the actor Yuri Solomon, Miklucha Maklai has been since his childhood and still remains a true hero. The traveler's courage and selflessness are masterfully shown in the film about Maklai directed by and starring Salomin. I'm so sorry to lose such a passenger, and I regret even more losing such a fellow countryman as you. Seems like you're burying me. Yes, what you're about to do is suicide. Take weapons with you at least. No. I wanted to draw attention to those Navy men who were watching Maclay go. If I was walking away into the forest or mountains, it would be one thing. But when they say goodbye, he turns and they keep watching him, realizing he might never be back. I'm extremely grateful to those fellow actors. One might think there was nothing special to act out, yet there was. Setting out on his voyage, Maclay requested from Grand Duke Constantine that the ship return in a year's time to collect his diaries. He didn't even think of coming back. Miklucha Maclay believed it would only be understanding and amicability that could help him in those unexplored lands. He would write in his diary later, My strength should lie in composure and patience. The scientist managed to earn the trust and respect of the Papuans, which allowed him to collect material for his studies for days on end. At that time, European books on anthropology claimed that the Papuan race was distinguished by tufted hair. The scientists believed this was nonsense. Miklucha Maklai managed to study the head of a nine-year-old boy from Bongu, who had a short haircut and even made some sketches. After the guests had departed, Maclay made an entry in his diary, throwing light on the matter that used to worry scientists so much. Their hair does not grow in separate groups or bunches, but is distributed evenly in the same way as ours. That observation for many people, an apparently minor one, put me in a good mood. The theories of European scientists who claimed that Papuans could not be considered human due to their tufted hair were ultimately debunked. Russian writer Leo Tolstoy also recognized the importance of Miklucha Maklai's work. You have definitely proven in practice that a man is a man anywhere and can and has to be approached only with kindness and truth rather than with cannons and vodka. Miklucha Maklai tried to guard the Aborigines against both tribal warfare and European colonization. In 1885, he published a telegram on behalf of Papuans protesting against the German annexation of the eastern part of New Guinea. Today, the scientist and humanist dream has come true. Papua New Guinea is an independent state, and on the Maklai coast, people still remember and use a number of Russian words. Sapor, Kubrusa, Maklai.
1996, UNESCO awarded Mikluka Maklai the title of Global Citizen. His birthday, the 17th of July, was declared Ethnographer's Day in Russia. His scientific work is still relevant today, as are his humanist ideas. A man is a man anywhere. There are no human beings of superior or inferior races. All the people are equal by nature.